Welcome back guys. Another video in the base configurations of your router. In this particular video, we're going to be taking a look at very basic things that you can figure on your router, but it's essential to go through it. Things like your host name of your device, uh, defining your domain name for the device that gives you a fully qualified domain name for your device. Remember, we talked about that. Every company gets a domain name assigned, which is a company name on the internet. How do I assign that to our router? We'll take a look at that. We'll take a look at how to set your uh, the uh, the date and time of a device and we'll also take a look at how to set the time zone of a device all right these are the four main things for this particular lab that we'll be taking a look at i'm just building on the same lab I'm, i have the routers configured from the previous lab already which is based on the interface ip addresses that we assigned in the previous lab or previous video we're going to just take it up to the next level in this particular or build up on that so in this particular one, as I said, basic stuff that we need to configure. Now we'll start with the host name. Now host name, if you guys remember, the default host name for your uh, for your uh, router was router, and that is depicted in your prompt. Remember what I told you that router that you see over there is the host name of the device, and the default name of the device is router. Now if I go back into my two routers, you'll notice but both the routers are called router router console 0 router 2 console 0 so so both of them are router so i don't know exactly by looking in the prompt which router i'm in so let's go to router 1 see the prompt is router greater than i need to change it i want to set the host name of this device setting the host name of a device is one of those con uh, commands that are considered to be major configuration commands so i cannot do it within the user exec mode for sure I need to go to global config, but even in global config, these configuration commands you cannot do. Only very few basic commands like setting the clock is something that you would do in the privilege exec. Other than that, most of the show command, uh, sorry, most of the configuration commands are done in global config mode. So let's do the go to the global config mode. And this I'm on router one. This is the console for router one. So what I'm going to do over here is I am going to set the host name of router one based on the requirement of the lab to uh, what do you call it router one and router two for router two let's go ahead and do that so i'm on router one the command to set the host name is host name again you could just say host good enough but the full command if you want to write it at least on the first one we'll do that is host name i want you guys to see what happens when i type in the word or type in the command host name r1 Notice my prompt changed from router config to r1 config because this is the host name. Similarly on router 2, I'm going to do the same thing. Go in, en, get into privilege exec, config t or conf t to get into global config and host r2. As simple as that. So this sets your host name up all right so very simple and the verification is right in front of you on your screen because you can see it as the host name being uh, either r1 or r2 in the prompt so the prompt is your indication that you actually have been successful in doing the command but if you guys remember from that video about dns i told you that when the company goes and registers it registers a company name as well and the company name is known as the domain name now when you register yourself with a domain name your device does not know that it just has a host name that we just set so my host name right now is r1 now i want to give it a fully qualified domain name so in order to give it a fully qualified domain name i need to put the host name and the domain name The format of the domain name is XXX, whatever, actually wrong, <laughs> bad name to be used. Let's say abc.com. And that becomes my domain name. My fully qualified domain name is router1.abc.com. So when I configure my DNS server, I'm going to create an entry for r1.abc.com. All right. So how do I give it the domain name? 
very simple. That's my next lab over here. It is going to be, again, in global config, the command is IP domain name and the name of the domain. So if I go over here, let's go to router one first. Now I know I'm on router one because the prompt tells me that. IP domain dash name, and we'll say abc.com. All right. Similarly, let's go to router two and do the same thing. Let's say these two routers belong to the same company. Now my full, fully qualified domain name or the full name for this device is r2.abc.com. And this is r1.abc.com. And that's the objective of this particular one. Now the next thing that I also want to do as part of my initial configuration of the device is set up my time. But before we set up the time, I need to give it what is known as a time zone. What time zone am I in? Normal time zones that we are used to in real life, I need to configure my router so that it portrays a proper time to another device. If there's any time sensitive uh, data that needs to go across like logs of your router, maybe they're going from one location to the other, they need to be time stamped with the right time zone, time stamp, and time zone plays a big part because if it's, let's say, midnight in a particular country, it might be a different time in another country. So how do I know that? How do I synchronize those times? It's done by looking at the GMT time, the universal clock. All the clocks are synchronized to a place in London called Greenwich. And that's what the Greenwich mean time is, which is set to an offset of zero. Everything else, either to the west of Greenwich, or east of Greenwich is based on a, a plus or a minus from Greenwich time because the time starts from the east. So any time east of Greenwich will have a plus, means they're ahead of Greenwich. Any time on the, the west side of Greenwich will have a minus, not necessarily one, minus or a subtraction because they're behind Greenwich. So for example, what I'm doing this lab of ours, I'm setting it up that I want to assume that R1 is in LA, in Los Angeles, and it has an offset of minus eight, which means it's eight hours behind GMT, the Greenwich Mean Time. So how do I tell it that whatever router, whatever time you set, it's in LA, it's or it's eight hours behind GMT, clock, time zone, again in global config, this name, PST, I just set it to, uh, uh, Pacific Standard Time, you can call it whatever you want, ABC is good enough, just a name. What the main important part is the offset. Offset should be correct. So PST is eight hours behind GMT is what I want to set R1 to. How do I go about doing it? Very simple. Command clock, time zone, PST. And another thing that I also want you guys to do that we haven't taken a look at is the tab. When I type in a command, let's say I type in time, and it's a unique enough command. You can always press the tab key. I'll press the tab key right now and I want you guys to see what happened. When I press the tab key, it auto completes the command, but you need to give it enough characters to make it unique for it to complete it. PST minus eight. So I'm telling it that my time zone for router one is, I call it PST, you could call it whatever you want as a name, but it's eight hours behind GMT. Similarly, we, in our lab, it's specifying that my R2 is in Paris, so and the offset of Paris is plus two, two hours ahead of GMT, all right? I'm using the Central Eastern time zone, that's what they call Paris, you can call it whatever you want, CST, but I didn't put the negative mark, I put a, a two, which is a positive two, which basically is telling me that it's two hours ahead of GMT, all right? That is the correct time in for, Pacific, uh, for Paris. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go to router two, clock, Again, I'm going to do the tab to fulfill the full command. CET, CET doesn't matter, but the two does matter. Basically, two hours ahead of GMT. So Paris is about 10 hours ahead of GMT. All right. Now that I've done the time zone, now I can properly set the time and the logs will be synchronized. So each, each guy knows that this time is based on a specific uh, offset. All right. In order to do that, we will go to our last slide over here. That is for configuring the date and time. The clock for the, the router, I need to set it to this particular time. Let's say 10 a.m. on the 11th of Jan. 
you need to understand that if the clock is one of the few commands that is done in the privilege exec mode. I'm setting it at 10 o'clock. It's in the 24 hour clock time. So if I'm saying 10 o'clock, that means 10 in the morning of 11th Jan 2019. Let's do the question mark to see if I'm uh, typing the right thing. I'll also use the tabs to get you more accustomed to these things. So for example, first thing that I need to do, go to router one, which is over here. I could do the do over here and do the do command over here because it do is the one that tells me that you're doing this command in privilege exec or because I want to see the, uh, the actual, uh, what do you call it? The help part and the tab part, I will do it in the privilege exec mode. Now, when I did CL and I pressed tab, it gave me a, a noise, meaning I don't have enough characters to make this command unique. So let's try CLO. Notice, as soon as I typed in tab or press tab after CLO, CLO made it unique. And how do I know that? If I do question mark after CL, it says CL has clear or clock. So do, do not be, make up its mind, but clock, CLO, that's the only command tab will ful fulfill it. S, let's see if that fulfills it. Yes, there's no other command over here after clock. There's either read or update calendar, read setting the clock, we'll say set. What is the time? What is the, the syntax for it? If I don't remember the syntax, I can always do a question mark. It tells me, hey, put the current time in. And based on our lab, we want to set it to 10 a.m. Now, if it was in the evening, I would do it based on the 24 hour clock. Now, I've done the time. Okay, I forgot. What is the next thing to do after the time? Tells you, give me the date of, day of the month and month of the year. So I will say day of the month. What was the lab saying? We'll do it based on the lab 11th. So 11th Jan. Okay. Now, if I do J, it doesn't, and tab it, it doesn't give me the proper thing. Why? There's January, there's June, there's July. Let's do Jan. Actually, this one, because it's a variable, month or day, it doesn't know Jan, July. I need to type it in. I need to make it unique. So I'll say Jan, which it knows is January. So this one does not have the tab for it. So you need to type it in. Okay, Jan, and then followed by the year. Again, if I don't remember it, question mark it, 2019. This tells you this clock, this router can only go to 2035. By that time, this router probably is obsolete. Now, how do I verify that the clock is set? One is the message on the on your screen, but also show clock. Show clock tells me it's 10 a.m. in the morning, uh, PST time, Friday, January the 11th. All right. Now, on router two, we want to set it to because it's 10 over here, it should be 20 in Paris, 20 meaning what? 10 hours ahead, which is eight o'clock in, in the evening for Paris, same day. So how do I do it again? Go to Paris, again done from privilege exec mode. Now that we know the commands, clock set, it is 20, which is on a 24 hour clock, eight o'clock in the morning. We'll put it as 2001 on the 11th of Jan, 2019. Show clock, and it should show you the clock as Friday the 11th, Jan 2019. That's there. And that is what I wanted you guys to see on the initial configuration of the device. So initially, when you go into a device, you would do these type of things. Things like what? Setting the clock, setting the host name, setting the domain name, and the time zone. Time zone, again, plays a part when you have routers in different time zones. Hope you guys enjoy the video. See you in the next video.